the Nintendo Switch needs the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Hey guys, what up? It's Snake Eater here, talking about, you guessed it, another Metal Gear Solid topic. Today I wanna start by talking about a couple things. Uh, first, I shaved. Um, I start a new job tomorrow, so I want to look fresh and professional. Two, my filming buddy, my fiance, my baby mama, she is not here right now, she's at work, so I'm trying to do this alone. Three, I'm wearing a tank top. It's 60 degrees outside. That's very hot for Alaskans. I'm already sweating already. Four, in my last video, I feel like I was, I was a little rigid and unnatural and stiff because I was trying to read off a script right here and talk to you guys up here. I'm just gonna have my script on my phone and try to talk to you guys at the same time, all right? I'm just gonna put it like this. Let's get into it. I'm predicting, call it June 2023, your boy Snake Eater. I'm predicting Konami is gonna port the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection to the Nintendo Switch. These bad boys right here. Quick video explaining my thought process and explaining why I think that's a very good idea. One of the biggest questions I have for the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection is what platforms is it coming to? On the Konami website, it shows Metal Gear Solid Delta is coming to the PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC Steam. And I understand why Delta is not on the Switch. It looks like Delta is going to be 4K, pushing the limits of the graphics and pushing the hardware to its fullest potential, I hope. So I understand why that could just not be on the Switch. But there was no platform announcement for the Master Collection yet. It's listed on the PlayStation website, but it doesn't say PS5 or PS4 or both. There isn't, there's no announcement on the Konami page yet for what platforms it's coming to. I think they're trying to figure out, is it even worth it to put it on last gen and current gen consoles? I think yes. I think they're trying to figure out how to put it on the Switch. And I think they might be waiting for the Switch 2 or the Switch Pro, maybe? That's a long shot, I know. That's a whole, whole other video, I don't want to get into that. Anyways, I think the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection is perfect for the Switch. Let's get into why. First, the specs are perfect. They fit perfectly. The Master Collection includes the Metal Gear Solid versions that was on the HD Collection back on the PS3 and Xbox 360. The HD Collection brought these games to 720p and 60 frames per second. What are the specs on the Switch? 720p in handheld mode, 1080p dot, and 60 frames per second. The specs just fit perfectly. Also, Metal Gear Solid series have already been ported to handheld consoles. The HD collection on the Vita, PSP had Peace Walker, and Snake Eater had the 3DS version, which is just blows my mind. I find that crazy. I find that crazy they fit the entire Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater on the 3DS. That's just crazy. Now to get into that a little bit more, I think it's an amazing idea to have Nintendo with their own Master Collection Special Edition. They can include Nintendo Metal Gear Solid exclusives, which are Twin Snakes and the 3DS version. They should like have this a special edition where it's not on the PS, the PlayStation version or the Xbox version. The Nintendo Switch version has the 3DS, the Snake Eater, and the Twin Snakes to, to go along with the other original games. It would give gamers a lot of incentive to buy the Switch version instead of the other versions, of course. And it would bring these games back from the grave instead of being stuck on the 3DS and stuck on the GameCube. We all know Nintendo has been very ambitious and pushing the limits for what they can fit on the Switch. There are so many huge games with expansive open worlds and extensive single player campaigns that are on the Switch somehow. First thing that comes to mind is Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Massive games that you would think takes up your whole entire memory. They're about half. Both games total take up about the, the base memory of the base Switch. About 16 gigabytes and 14 gigabytes respectively. The freaking Witcher 3 is on the Switch somehow. 31 gigabytes. One of the most content-packed open-world action RPGs ever made. Then one of my favorites is Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice with 18.4 gigabytes. I played this on my PS4 and it is one of the most visually impressive games I've ever played. It's crazy they put this on the Switch. I definitely recommend Senua, uh, by the way, but just be aware, this is number two on my list of most emotionally draining video games I've ever played with um, Last of Us Part Two being my number one spot, so just be aware of that. And then the two biggest games size memory wise on the Switch are NBA 2K21 with 41 gigabytes and the Mortal Kombat 11 with 32 gigabytes. So the Switch is more than capable of, of handling huge games. And on top of that, the Switch already has games that are like compilations or collections put together as one. 
For example, there's um, the Doom Slayer Collection, 32 gigabytes with five games total. GTA Trilogy with 25 gigabytes, three games total. Those are GTA games, big open world games. Borderlands Legendary Collection. I can't find an exact amount for gigabytes. I keep finding 30, 40, 20, but whatever. It's three games total with DLC. Disregarding memory storage, the Switch also has very impressive ports from other consoles like Subnautica, Doom games, Skyrim, Dark Souls, Persona 5, No Man's Sky, Bioshock Collection, and many, many more. Going to a different topic, it's been a long time since Metal Gear Solid has been in the spotlight. The last mainline title game we received was in 2015 with number 5, The Phantom Pain. And then a little bit after that, we got Metal Gear Survive, but we don't talk about Metal Gear Survive. That came out in 2018. It was a spin-off. Like I said, we don't talk about that. We saw all the internet's reaction when this Metal Gear news was released. Fans want and they crave Metal Gear. They want Metal Gear to be in the spotlight, in mainstream media, and in gaming. It's been far too long since we talked about Metal Gear. It's been far too long. I believe Konami needs to fit this collection on as many consoles as possible to spread awareness and to build hype for the Snake Eater Delta remake and possible future remakes too. Also, most Metal Gear Solid games are inaccessible and they've been accessible for far too long. They need to make this collection as accessible as possible. Put it on all the platforms, last gen and current gen and the Switch, every single platform and the PC of course. Personally, if the Master Collection comes to the Switch, that's the version I'm gonna buy because I already have the Xbox 360 version that uh, works perfectly on my Series X. So I want the Switch version portable, and I'm hoping they put the 3DS Snake Eater and the Twin Snakes on there too. That would be such a good idea. I'm giving you million dollar ideas, Konami and Nintendo. Make it happen. Frickin' Snake is in Smash Bros. One of the most iconic Nintendo and iconic Switch games is Smash Bros. Snake is in Smash Bros, but Snake isn't on any Switch game. Put Snake on the Switch, Nintendo. Please, put him on the Switch game. Kids are like, oh, who's the Snake character? Oh, he's just a boring old soldier. Who the hell is Snake? <laughs> put Snake on the Switch. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or don't. I don't really care. I'm just trying to... Whatever. I just want to talk about Metal Gear, man. I love Metal Gear. Oh, God, I'm sweaty. All right. I'll see you, punks, later. See you. Yep, bye.